and directly see the sunrise in the mountains and I'm very happy and I'm ready to explore Dharamshala Maglior. Let me just wear my mask. Chalis rupees toll tax. Hema challenge. Hey, do you have the party? Never pay charge for no one. So after a lot of efforts, finally we are in this hotel, Norbu House. Let's check out the rooms. View, 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 अच्छा है. अभी तो अच्छा सी है. Maclaurin Ganj. Maclaurin Ganj. अभी ये होटे यहाँ पर है. Maclaurin Ganj जो मेन स्क्वायर था है ना यही है मेन स्क्वायर. Okay, so I got the map of Maclaurin Ganj and Dharamshala, but I'll explain all these things later on. This ginger, lemon. And honey, which is very good for health any time. So this is welcome drink over here as well. Look at our gorgeous stay in Maclaurin Ganj in Hotel Norbu House. This is a suite room basically. So you can see the bed over here, and you can see how spacious this is. We are gonna stay here for two nights. So obviously we were very particular about choosing the room, and then there is sitting space over here, as you can see. And then the bathroom is just uh, beside the main door over there. And uh, here there is a kitchen area and there is sitting space once again. And then we have a balcony with a gorgeous, gorgeous view. I'll keep it for later. But I'm gonna have a great time and a great stay over here for next two nights. Okay, can't wait to have my pink look. This one over here, this is Tigmo. This is a very good morning in Himachal Pradesh in India. Finally traveling after so so many months and this cozy bed. I had such a good night sleep last night and directly see the sunrise in the mountains. So it's a very good morning for us. Of course we cannot miss the breakfast with this gorgeous view over here. So now for me I have a pancake for Anki. It's something called the farmer's breakfast i think it's with uh, tomato with cheese with egg something like that this is a uh, tibetan tea and this is a uh, honey lemon ginger just for immunity
Okay, so we hear a lot about Dharamshala, Maklyot Ganj and Palampur. So Palampur is more like the plain area and the hill station is mainly Dharamshala. More above in the mountains, that's Maklyot Ganj or more like upper Dharamshala. So that's where we are staying. The main Dharamshala area, the lower Dharamshala, you can say that is more a commercial uh, town over here. And the upper Dharamshala, which is Maklyot Ganj, that is more influenced by the Tibetan culture. So it is high above in the mountains. You have Tibetan food and Tibetan style properties. So basically, if you are coming to Dharamshala, in Himachal Pradesh. You can drive from Delhi and it will take you somewhere between 11 to 12 hours. You can also take a flight in very normal day. For us, we are continuing our road trip from Delhi to Dalhousie to Khajiar to Dharamshala and so we are here. We are driving in Himachal for some time now and the videos are already up in our YouTube channel and continuing so do check it out guys. And guys, be a little careful. Let me tell you over here that if you are following Google map, it will show you shortcut from Dharamshala to Makhliot Ganj and the road is steep like goes like this and very steep turns it's a very shortcut uh, used by the local people over here so we came from that route and i was not sure at all if we would reach our destination because the drive was so so difficult through that shortcut people are really nice over here so don't hesitate to take help from the local drivers over here or uh, the people around in case you are stuck and they will help you cross a difficult patch if you are stuck So guys, this morning we are going to Bhagsu waterfall. If you are driving, there is a huge parking space over here as you can see and thankfully we have parked our vehicle over there and now we are gonna trek up to the waterfall. I like this one, from these two colors. There are few accommodations around this area as well where you have the parking space for Bhagsu waterfall. There are few accommodations over here also. So there is a pool over here, the Bhagsu pool and the temple I can see there over there and the way to the waterfall is from this side so I'll first go to the waterfall I can see the waterfall, oh my god isn't that a long distance? Most of the tourists will come over here it's very commercial again but there are a few cute cafes also. Uh, we'll probably sit for Thukpa or Maggie in one of those cafes. And I think we are trekking every day almost here in Himachal Pradesh. There is my favorite cafe down there. It's from where we started. I'm going now downhill over here. There is no name cafe. And also if I can try climbing on that side. Uh, last time we came over here, we saw some nice cafes or maybe some rest houses over there. We need to go and check it out. What are the options available there? Those are some of the places really hidden over here and have nice vibes.
cafe is similar to Kasol in Himachal Pradesh, but it looks very similar. Best part are these really cool paintings over here. That's kind of unique of this place. Maggie. Chai. And now probably we'll cross the stream over there and see some other secret cafes. So we could not see anyone in this Chennai cafe, maybe because it's post-Covid time so nobody is coming over here or it's not the real season time over here. So no one around. I can see some of the rooms are also available over here if you are coming in the season time or if you can inquire a little bit more. But however, the vibe in this place was really nice. We spent some time in the afternoon over here and now it's time for us to go home.